Hello and welcome. I'm Aaron from the WebEx Developer Evangelism Team. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little about WebEx Android SDK version 3.5 and its new features. So let's get started. Here you can see that I am on developer.webex.com um, in our docs section under the SDK and uh, the SDK heading and the Android section here. As you can see, the current version is version 3.5, and this button here will take you to our GitHub, where you can find our change log and read through everything included in this new version, as well as the patches. Um, instead of just reading through that today, we'll just be going over a high level of some of those features. Um, to start out, um, Let's talk about the media stream object. So the media stream object is a new object um, added to the SDK uh, that represents a user's audio and video stream. So this is a simplified approach from earlier um, in our version history, and this should add a much better experience for developers. So going along with that, um, that media stream object is going to provide your application with detailed information about the media stream, including its quality um, and your current network uh, quality as well. Um, so version 3.4 added a network signal um, indicator, and now version 3.5 is going to add that network quality along with the media stream object. So that's going to allow you to be able to actually see the the network quality of the users, if you so choose, and of yourself. Um, pretty cool stuff. Now, along with that, um, there's also been a few new methods added to the call object. So one of them is the get media streams method, um, and that will allow you to uh, get all, all uh, active media streams in a call, um, along with all of their metadata. And then also added to the call object has been a set media stream category A and category B um, methods. So what this does is actually lets your app programmatically um, tell, uh, tell your users who's actually currently talking. So category A is going to be the active speaker and category B will be all the other speakers in the meeting. Um, and that will let you craft an experience that's similar to the WebEx client, whether you want to highlight the active speaker's um, video or move it around is up to you. Um, and then we've also added support for 1080p video. So the 1080p was added in, uh, in version 3.3, I believe. Um, and since then, we've added support. So this leads me into my next section. I'm just going to give you guys a brief demo of a couple of those features I just mentioned. Um, and we're gonna start with that 1080p. So I'll minimize this. And here's a quick screenshot of my video on version 3.3. And here is my phone in my hand here, running Android Kitchen Sink version 3.5. Okay, and here's Android Kitchen Sink version 3.5. Um, so I'm gonna have to initiate a call to show you guys this. All right, so as you can see, this video on the left here, um, and let's go ahead and play that, is a little grainy, and then here I am live here on your right and i think it's pretty clear the immediate jump in in the uh, resolution so that's awesome now if you'll take a look here you can also see that network signal indicator so it's showing the amount of uh bars so to speak that i have indicating my signal and that's new from version 3.3 here which you see does not have that um so those are some of the great new features in version 3.5 um, make sure to stay up to date on all things WebEx um, at developer.webex.com. And also, 
on our Twitter at WebEx.Devs. And take a look at our community forums, which I always cheat to get to by just typing in cs.co slash WebEx developer community. And that'll take you right there um, where you can ask questions, post answers, and stay up to date with our community. All right, guys, until next time.